Hello, hello. Welcome to Shady and Why. I'm Marilyn, and today we have auction bags. Hope everybody's doing great. This is um, Thanksgiving week, and I hope everybody has wonderful plans. Um, I want to go through some sterling silver bags. Uh, if you haven't been here before, my name's Marilyn, my husband's name's Barry, and we are resellers. We sell on eBay, Etsy, Poshmark, YouTube, and we just started a whatnot um, auction on yesterday, was our first. Uh, not sure what I think about it yet. Um, it is a little different, uh, but I don't think it's ever a good idea to judge something by the first time you do it. Uh, let's see. As I generally show you my ring set I um, wear, today is Onyx Day. Um, this one is um, Onyx and Marcosite, and I have had this forever. And this one I just um, collected. It is a beauty, isn't it? I will... Um, do I want to sell this one? Look how fabulous that looks on that finger. Um, I have no more slots in my um, ring holder, so I'm going to go ahead and give a price. This is a size 10, and it is signed um, Thailand 925. And I, let's see if I can see. I am completely unsure of what the mark is. Here's the inside of the ring. You can read it says Thailand, 925 in the Onyx. Sorry about that, groceries were being delivered. Okay, so on this one, it does have a little flea bite right here. It is sterling silver onyx a lot of sterling to this and i'm gonna say let's do let's do 65 if anybody's interested but there is a flea bite right here on the edge very cool piece and this is my normal and i've had this forever and I think I'm still gonna keep this one for the moment. Um, nails are in having a big head day. And the reason I went red, even though we're right before Thanksgiving, is because I did Christmas ornaments yesterday on whatnot. So I was trying to be festive. <laughs> if you haven't been here before, um, we mainly do jewelry, uh, vintage jewelry, unboxings, jewelry jars, um, all kinds of things. Um, mainly our jewelry auctions is what we do. And if you have been here before, thank you, thank you for returning. Anything I show you, I will give a price unless otherwise stated. And all you do is send us an email to one shadyandy at gmail.com. We will send you a, oh, in that email to us, definitely give us a timestamp and a description. And we will send you a PayPal invoice. You don't have to have an account. Um, you can purchase through PayPal, pay through PayPal with um, a guest uh, account. So we have some sterling rings. And these are interesting. Um, I bought these back in March. And they had fallen... Um, under a cabinet and I moved the cabinet um, today and I found these so I thought hey let's go ahead and look through these um, and this was one of the rings in it and I love this ring it's just fabulous and then um, this one is sterling gemstones pearls and mixed metals so let's go ahead and do the rings first Um, in the comments, tell us if you have any plans scheduled for the holidays. Um, I am going over to my mom and dad's and having um, Thanksgiving there. 
let's see here is this this is a cool ring very very um patina it says 925 and i don't see anything else it is sterling silk oh is that a mark let's see No, I don't see anything except for the 925. And it is like a swirl modernistic ring with onyx. It is a size seven. And on this one, I'm just going to do, um, let me see if there's any scratches. There is a little rubbing right on top. Let's see if I can get that to come in. There, you can see just a little bit of rubbing on top. So on this one, I'm just going to do $20. Unfortunately, this uh, Labradorite um, has a couple cracks. Uh, let me see if I feel any of them. This one I can feel right here on the outside. This one I can feel on the outside. And this I cannot... Uh, it is sterling silver. It is like that in the back. Let's see. It says. Nine to five, but a little bit of it is coming off. It is a really nice ring. There is the blue. I can see it on the screen. So it's coming through. And this is a nine and a half. And I'm one of those people, I don't mind um, cracks and rings as long as there's no movement. That is always how I determine whether I will wear a, um, a cracked stone. Um, if there's movement, you could lose half of the stone. Um, so on something like that, I would definitely not purchase it or go and have it fixed. And um, so this one does not have that. And I'm going to say, since it is cracked, I'm going to say, let's just do, it's a beautiful um, ring. So I'm going to say, let's just do uh, $25. Now this one says 925. And I cannot read the initials. Let's see if I can try again. I can't read the first one at all. It says something B J. And then on the other side, I don't see any marks at all. This is a buckle ring. It is a size eight. It has a diamond chip right here. There. However, it looks like the majority of these are faux marcasites um but yeah they're just faux there is space in them and i i'm gonna um go in closer so you can see it tighter okay so it looks like these might have been marcasites but they're just black and then here's the diamond chip. And then on this side, it's just all metal. There's the inside. And the markings are right there. Okay, so I'm gonna move back out. slowly so nobody gets dizzy and on this one I'm gonna do 35 now this one is really pretty and it is etched in and it says 925 Z E I and this is a really pretty ring I love that this detail here and then there are cubic zirconias on this side, all around the top. Um, and these are like um, cubic zirconia and like star 
uh, sterling pieces to make it look like it is uh, more than it is. And I just think that's a really nice ring. This is a size seven and a quarter. It's in really good condition. And on this one, I'm gonna say, let's just do um, $30. And this one says, 925 Dominique Cubic Zirconia, made in Thailand, and then something else, but I can't read that. It is a marcasite and has um, a flowers on uh, punched through on the sides, and then it is lifted up. I think I've had one similar to this before. And this one is a size seven, and, between a seven and a seven and a quarter. Um, so probably I'd say uh, definitely a seven. So on this one, I'm gonna say let's do let's do 35 on the Diamondique. Diamondique is QVC's Cubic Zirconia brand. So um, a lot of people collect those. They hold up well, and they just have a really really bright color to them. Okay, so there's the rings. And then we're going to do these. And I put a bit in, I left a bit rather. And she bagged it so beautifully. So it's sterling, gemstones, pearls, and mixed metals. So let me pull these out. And they're all individually bagged. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna scoot each bag over to the side and then we're just gonna go through them. Okay, first off, we have um, a Carol Lee. Uh, this is a beautiful, it's a little hair right there. No missing rhinestones, um, nice little, um, probably onyx uh, beads on the side. Sterling silver, it looks like. But let's check. I'm not sure if it is sterling silver. I do not think it's sterling silver. This must be the mixed metal part. So this is just silver tone with rhinestones. And it is one and three fourths of an inch by one and an eighth of an inch. And it's about uh, three eighths of an inch thick. If you're not familiar with Carol Lee, um, she was an architect by trade. Carol Lee Friedlander, I think is how her last name was pronounced, founded the jewelry brand in 1972. According to Friedlander, she started her business on her kitchen table, creating necklaces of various beads and crystals First of all, she wanted women not only to buy her jewelry pieces, but also to collect them. She opened her first store in Bloomingdale in uh, 1989 in New York. And six years later, she launched a joint collection with Ralph Lauren. And then in 96, she created an iconic collection inspired by Jackie Onassis, Kennedy Onassis. Thanks to the incredible fashionable flair and ability to quickly make risky decisions. The company became the first to sell its products online and it, in the first two hours, they earned half a million dollars. That's crazy. Noteworthy, the retail brand alliance with Brooks Brothers and Brooks Brothers, if you don't know, is the oldest men's clothing brand in the U.S. And they bought Carol Lee Company in 2001. And today, Carol Lee produces and sells jewelry in multiple companies, U.S., China, Korea, U.K. 
and they're very, very popular pieces with um, celebrities, including Michelle Obama, Brooke Shields, Anne Hathaway, um, Penelope Cruz, and so many more. So it's a great piece. And on this one, they generally run in the $40 mark for the bro uh, brooches. So on this piece, I'm going to do, let's just say, uh, 18 pretty piece looks very vintage and that's her style is it does look vintage next we have some rings and I believe these are toe rings but I also found a site that um, said that um, the open back rings are popular as um, um, midi rings so these are super nice all sterling silver there you see and on each and they're open in the back each one of them and they're quality pieces this one um with the um springs uh triple shank with the ball i'm just gonna say ten dollars this one with scroll work i'm gonna say just ten dollars and then this one really nice with the rope in the center and um this one and they're all signed um, like different companies, 925, and some of them say Thailand, and they each say something. Nice, heavy, quality pieces, and I'm just going to say $10 a piece on those. And then on this one is super nice. Oh, do you want sizes on these? Even though they're adjustable, this one is a size 4. That's that one. This one... Is a four and it's that one and like I said they're all adjustable to a certain extent and this one is a four and three-fourths and this one is a nine between a nine and a quarter and nine and a half and this is sweet because this is three aquamarine um, stones uh, hammered um, detail just a really pretty uh, ring and on this one I'm gonna say because of the beautiful aquamarine uh, blue color I'm gonna say let's do um, $28 okay next we have some Tahitian pearls it looks like oh, these are nice Definitely real. I don't even fear gritty as could be. Aren't these gorgeous? Look at that color. Just sweet. These are, let me see, are these tied? They are not tied in between. But they have a gorgeous color. Let me see if this is sterling. I don't see a number. Let's see if it's on the back. So let's just test this and see if it is sterling. It is, it's turning blue. So it is Tahitian pearls that are Baroque um, because it has the um, beautiful lines in it. And each one is a different size. It looks like it is probably an 18 inch, I mean a 16 inch, yes, 16 inches. But they're like almost a cool copper color. So on these, I'm going to say 25. Those are wonderful. Here we have this sweet little heart necklace, like so. There's a chain. It is a small Rolo chain. 
including the extension, it is 18 inches, and the little heart is a half inch by half inch. It's gonna be glass. So for this one, and it's sweet, it is red, like so. And this one we are going to do Let's just do $12 because it is sterling. This one is a locket with a cross on it. There's the insides. Nobody's in there. And it is, let me see if I see a mark. don't so there's the cross there's the back let's test it real quick this is a french rope chain I didn't do that chain very well. Let me do it again. And there's your blue on both of them. So on that one, I'm going to do very sweet. Let's give you a length on the chain. It is 18 inches, the locket is one inch by three fourths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say just $15. Now this is a sweet piece, okay? And I'm not great with knowing exactly what these are. I know this is quartz, I know this is amethyst, this test right on the um, uh, jadeite, um, but I don't know if that's what jadeite normally looks like. I know some of our wonderful subscribers that have knowledge in their gemstones will be able to tell us. This is a box chain. It is 18 inches, um, and the box chain needs to be um, uncurled, okay? What that means is you undo them, okay? You um, hold your pendant very lightly and do this very gently. Um, and you just hold the chain so it's hanging completely down and you take your fingernail or a, a pencil or something that it has something gently to be um, pulled against. So any curls or turning, it can be let out. And you keep, need to keep doing that because um, you can see, see how that is a little, um, stiff right there. If you keep doing that lightly, and I say lightly, it untwists. See how it's all twisted? And you just keep doing that until you have no more twist in it. And the best way of doing that is let it hang because this has been in a bag who knows long, how long. So let me give you a size again. It is 18 inches with the pendant being two and a quarter inch by half inch by half inch. And um, this is sterling. Let me test this.
I don't think that's sterling. Seems to have a lot of brass in it. And see, that. what do I know? That right there tells you having brass in it doesn't mean that it is not sterling, but it is definitely sterling blue as can be. And on this one, I'm gonna say, um, it's gorgeous. I'm gonna say $30 for the vintage, very vintage box chain. And the uh, gemstone pendant. Okay, our next piece is this one. Let's see. Oh, isn't this pretty? All right, so this stone is a gorgeous stone. It is a teardrop garnet. Let's see if we can get the red to show. There, you can see a little bit in the red. Let's see if I can do this a better way. There, you can see the red. Let's see if it's better this way. There you go. Beautiful garnet. And marcasite. It's dirty. So let me clean this up a little bit. See what it looks like. Again, this is the Sparkle Sparkle. Um, I got this on... Um, Amazon and just a toothbrush I bought a bunch of toothbrushes and a huge package um, on Amazon also um, that way I can just use them and throw them away on the jewelry it's one of my things I don't like using used toothbrushes. <laughs> yeah, that looks much better. Maybe it was just dust in these little uh, parts right here. Um, that is really a pretty piece. Okay, so it is garnet and a teardrop, and there is, let's see, a little scratch right there. And then it's marcasites. It doesn't look like any are missing. There's the back. And these wings do move wider or together. And then it looks like it's been replaced with this heavy um, sterling um, flattened bead necklace. That's easy enough to change to a longer or shorter or um, more elaborate uh, chain. This chain is 14 inches with the opening and the pendant an additional inch. And then the entire um, bottom part is one inch by three eighths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say let's do $22. That is really pretty. Then this one. Is. Sterling silver. Real pearls. And jadeite. Pink jade. It is. Um, chain. Jade pearls jade pearls jade pearls and then um this hanging y of the jade and the pearl the size does have an extension and it is extended completely out and it is 17 inches 
with a drop of one inch by a half inch. And on this one, it is sterling, real pearl, and jade. I'm gonna say let's do $25. Now this one is pretty. This is sterling silver, cubic zirconia, and it's one of the Fleur de Lays. I think that's how you say it. It's all um, cubic zirconia, none missing. It is marked on the bag, 925 with the cubic zirconia. Uh, I think it says made in China. Isn't it sweet? Has a um, cable chain and it does have extensions and it is uh, tagged on the chain and the chain says JCM925. Let's give you a measurement and it is, as I said, extended completely out. It's 18 inches with the floor delay um, being an inch and a quarter with the bell by three-fourths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say $22. And our last piece. Aw, that says mom. This is an older charm. This is 925. It's on an S chain with a um, lobster clasp. It is marked with a tag, and the tag says Sterling spelled out Italy. And this is a short chain. And if anybody needs a longer chain with anything that we've shown today, just let me know. This is 16 and a half inches, and then the charm is one inch by three-fourths of an inch. And on this one, I'm gonna say just $20. That is sweet. I like how it's all smaller letters. Just nice. So there you go, what'd you think? I think this was a really nice sterling set um, or lot, whatever you wanna call it. If I had to pick my favorite, um, I'm gonna say either the pearls or this unusual little medallion here um, or pendant or whatever you call it, amulet. It's probably the best considering an amulet um, with the really good gemstones, definitely protection stones. Definitely in the comments, I want, if you don't mind, leaving me a comment that says, A, what you're planning to do for Thanksgiving, and B, in tomorrow's video, would you prefer to see um, Victorian, um, vintage sterling, or costume? Just let me know below. Whichever one comes out the most, we will definitely do that tomorrow. Hope everybody's doing wonderful. We appreciate you spending a little bit of your day with us and we will see you on the next one. If you saw something you liked, definitely send me an email to one shadyy at gmail.com. Have a great week. Bye.